Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be going to Hobby Lobby and to Joann's, but first we had to get a bite to eat and if you guys have not been to Chewy's, if you don't have one in your area, I'm so sorry. That is our favorite restaurant. We are there once a week, it's delicious. So today in Hobby Lobby, I am just going to be showing you just a few things, some of my favorite things. Their displays are absolutely gorgeous. They are so packed full. I actually saw someone knock a whole display down while I was there this day. It was horrible. I felt so bad for her, but they are so chucked full of all the goodies. Those nutcrackers are beautiful. I love this Santa mailbox. I have not seen that before. It may be something that has been here, but I have never seen it. I just thought it was so cute. This red church, oh my goodness. I want that for my porch. I think it's gorgeous. There's just so many beautiful things to look at here at Hobby Lobby. It was really packed this day, so I was trying to be discreet. If you guys know, it is difficult to film in a store when it's packed. But here we are at Joann's and wow, their wreaths are absolutely beautiful. They're very unique, different than anywhere that I've seen. Most of them are around $60, but 40% off. So that is a good price. That wreath that I just showed you and this garland, oh my goodness. So beautiful, very similar to the A floral look that is really popular right now. Those are gorgeous. They are so lifelike and beautiful. That garland is a six foot garland. And like I said, just some really unique, different wreaths that you won't see everywhere. I've not seen anything like that at Hobby Lobby and I just thought it was so beautiful. There's one in just a second that I'm going to show you that is stunning. Those pine cone wreaths, beautiful. I love these with the stars intertwined. This is the one that I'm talking about. I don't know if it gives all the Christmas vibes, but I think it is gorgeous. It may be more spring-like, but it has the pine cones in it. So beautiful and so very unique. I love these beaded wreaths as well. They are so pretty. And these ones, the A floral look with the bulbs mixed in, absolutely stunning. I love that some of them show a little bit of the grapevine wreath still. It's not just totally encompassing the wreath. Really, really pretty things. Their garland is also just very pretty. This one that I'm showing you here, it was like multiple strands. It had like five or six strands of that pretty pine branch. My Joann's had their florals fully stocked. A lot of their picks were actually picked over, no pun intended, but their decor was really sparse. They had boxes and boxes that they were still putting out. So I'm gonna go back and try to catch some of their decor items as well because they are also very unique, just gorgeous. Look at that garland. That would be absolutely beautiful on a tablescape. I just love that, that gold leaf that is mixed in with the greenery. It's very unique, not something that you see everywhere. Also, this one with the bells, just so cute, very rustic, kind of that farmhouse vibe, so cute. These are also adorable. Those would be so pretty. I'm just envisioning someone with multiple windows on their front porch. How cute would that be with those gingham ribbons? But you could DIY that yourself. You know, if you want to just take a simplistic wreath that you can get at Walmart or Hobby Lobby for pretty cheap and then flock it yourself and put some berry picks in it and use a really cute gingham ribbon on that. That would be a cute DIY as well. 
I've seen these pine cone clusters on YouTube. These are also another really easy DIY if you wanna go that route as well. Moving into the home decor section, they have some beautiful items for sale here. Such gorgeous things and very unique pieces. Like I've said before, this mailbox is beautiful. I don't think I could get the price. It was really heavy, so I was concerned about dropping it, but I would say it's probably close to $100, if not more. This Christmas countdown was something that I thought was very unique, super cute, gives me kind of Polar Express vibes. And I have seen Christmas countdowns in almost every single store that I've been in. So they are really popular right now. And that is fun for the kids to count down the days until Christmas. Another popular item that I've noticed this year are bells. They are everywhere in all shapes, sizes, colors, and there are so many ideas for bells. You can hang them on a wreath, at the end of a garland, on your mantle. Just so many ideas for those bells. These reindeer are adorable. They are very similar to some that I've seen at Pottery Barn, just in different colors in Pottery Barn, maybe some golds. If you didn't like the matte black, you could spray paint those gold or silver. They're just really cute and different than any that I've seen in other stores besides Pottery Barn. As I said earlier in this video, not everything was out here at my Joann's. They were still unloading boxes and displaying things. So it does look kind of sparse, but like I said, they had not put everything out yet. So I expect within a week or two that these shelves should be fully stocked. This had to be my favorite section at Joann. Their ribbon is beautiful. They have such unique ribbon that I have not seen in other stores. Just very vintage styles, woodland, gingham, plaids. That one is adorable. It looks very simplistic and vintage to me. Those also look really vintage, just giving me Rudolph vibes. I was obsessed with all of their ribbon. I highly recommend that you get to your local Joann's if you're interested in any of these ribbon because there were people buying it. As you can see, some of those were just off the shelves already. They were low in stock. 
on some of the colors and it's because people are buying things early. They understand that things are going to be flying off the shelves this year and they are not going to last. So if there's something that you see that you like, get to your local Joann's and get to shopping because I think that these things are going to fly off the shelves. And one last aisle of Christmas home decor. These shelves were pretty sparse, but I suspect in the next week they will be stocked full. So if you want to find some unique pieces for your Christmas decor, Joann's is the place to be. Things that you will not see anywhere else. So beautiful. I hope that you all enjoyed this little bitty Christmas shopping tour. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss a thing of my Christmas content coming your way. Have a wonderful rest of your week, guys. God bless you.